Reports have surfaced Friday suggesting that the CIA issued a secret assessment that Russian hackers attempted to influence the U.S. presidential election in Donald Trump's favor. This as President Obama ordered a review of all foreign attempts to hack the U.S. election system. President-elect Trump told Fox News yesterday he's skeptical of these reports. The CIA has concluded that Russia intervened in the election to help you win the presidency. Your reaction? I think it's ridiculous. I think it's just another excuse. Uh, I don't believe it. Uh, I, I don't know why. And uh, I think it's just, uh, you know, they talked about uh, all sorts of things. Every week it's another excuse. They have no idea if it's Russia or China or somebody. It could be somebody sitting in a bed someplace. Let's bring in Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, is this more than politics? Uh, or you is know, this substance? I, 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 I think it's substance. I don't think it's politics. Uh, so there's a couple of moving parts here. There is no one CIA, there are moving parts in the CIA. Sometimes CIA management will say, you guys prove this, you guys disprove it. We'll see which report is more credible. Mm -hmm. Add to that that there are 16 intelligence agencies of which we know in the federal government. There probably are some of which we don't know, and they often don't agree. Add to that there's an intelligence branch of the FBI, which has a different view of this from the CIA. So the president-elect receives either directly or indirectly briefings from a variety of sources in the government and he comes to his own conclusion. The briefings he receives are for his eyes only and he's determined that the one that the press is talking about, one of several, is not credible. That's a judgment mm. he's intellectually, lawfully uh, empowered to make. This hacking has been, or the, the talk about this hacking has been going on for six months or more. Right. From the, and, it started at the, the DNC. Beginning. And we haven't been given a shred of evidence to substantiate the claim that the Russians were behind this. I agree we with you, seen, Highland. And, and, and you remember, Hillary Clinton stood up on the debate stage and she said that 17 agencies have corroborated yeah, the accusation. One? And she based that on a memo. And this is a line from the memo that said that the hacking was consistent with the methods and motivations of Russian directors. Efforts. That means literally nothing. Yeah. That means that it looks like the Russians did it. There has been zero evidence. Well, she was, she, she was, was, she was wait, saying that. She was saying that. that. There was, there was a, a statement that was put out by the Department of Homeland Security and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence in October. Well, that's what I'm that, reading. October 7th. Right. That says that it, it is confident that the Russian government. I mean, but you, if, if you. They have come out publicly and said it. The CIA is a different story. This is mm -hmm. something that was in a report. But this is public. Yeah. And you have to assume that they're, they're, everybody's lying to you if they put that out. Well, I, look, I, it wouldn't be beyond the shadow of, 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 of reality for the federal government to lie to us. We saw that with the uh, stockpiles of chemical weapons in Iraq. We were told with absolute confidence that the United States government thought that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And they were wrong or they were lying Well, to this us. is a Democratic this administration, is... so this falls into the Democratic narrative that they're trying to say is the Russians' fault. But, um, Judge, will there ever be a time that the CIA does come out and officially take the stance and, and confirm publicly. these Yeah, publicly. how about some evidence? Well, here, yeah. here's, here's what's going to happen. The Republicans in the Senate, John McCain is chairman of the Armed Services Committee, is a member of the Foreign Relations Committee, is a member of the Select Committee on Intelligence. He's going to get one of those committees, maybe one of these super joint committees, to investigate this. They're going to get some CIA agents who agree with him to come up there and say, here's what we found. And the Democrats will find some agents who disagree with them and say, here's what they didn't find. Here's why their research is flawed. And we probably will not get an answer but on this. But there's something but about this. We're a month after the election. They just won't let it go, I agree and they with and you they won't that. just admit that the people voted for Trump. Fifty-three percent of women, or fifty-three million women, voted for Trump. Hispanics came out for Trump. They just don't want to believe it, and they keep trying to make this narrative that it was it was done because of Russia hacking. Trump, Trump understands that there can be political motivations to the revelation of <laughs> uh, of intelligence reports that these things are not the gospel. Yep. And, and I give him credit at this early stage, he's not even the president yet, to, to have the fortitude and the self-confidence and the understanding of all this to reject it. Mm. But reject it publicly, which is something that Richard Nixon didn't even do when he knew that the intelligence community was spying, they, they were spying on his campaign and their contact with, the, with South Vietnam. And he was careful not to 
attack the intelligence services in public. And it's something that Donald Trump did willingly, and then he admits that I don't get daily intelligence briefings. I mean, does that not, is that not cause for concern for some You know, people? I heard the uh, questions that Chris Wallace put to him about intelligence briefings. And Donald Trump seemed to say, what I need to know comes to me. What I need to know comes to me either from the people that give me the briefings. I say, don't come to me and repeat what you've said in the past. If there's a change since our last briefing, let me know. If it's minutiae, tell Mike Pence and he'll decide. No, but what even I need John Bolt, and, uh, John Bolton said on Fox News Sunday last night, he said, I always aired, and he's speaking broadly, aired on the side of more, more, more. And in his role, he has been criticized in the past. Bolton has because he actually wanted, he didn't want analysis of the data. He wanted to look at the raw numbers. So he even said that more is better. Well, that's John Bolton's opinion. Apparently, the president elect doesn't have the same. Doesn't our intelligence communities have contempt for Donald Trump? Hasn't uh, do. Clapper come out and say he's not, or he's retiring and stepping down? I mean, hasn't there been some contempt for Donald Trump? There probably is some. There probably is a lot of adulation for Donald Trump. I mean, the intelligence community in the United States of America is broad and vast and deep. Right. And every ideology and every political stripe you can imagine is in there. And they vote like the rest of us. And they have mm -hmm. opinions like the rest of us. And their opinions can color what they do. And Donald Trump understands that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And you know, James Clapper has gone on record saying that Donald Trump was a threat to national security. So he clearly has no wonder he's resigning. No, yeah. no he has. actually, for James Clapper to say the that. The director of national intelligence. I mean, that is pretty extraordinary yeah, to take is. a position like that. Doesn't surprise me. He lied under oath. He lied under oath to Congress saying he's not spying on the. He's like, no, we are yeah. not spying on It does on raise like the issue when teeth. you. When you and, and I know that this, the FBI has not signed on with the CIA no. this report. And for, for myriad reasons. And I, and of course, we're looking for evidence. However, when you have the president-elect come out and dismiss findings from the CIA, well, what, what about something on a different matter? It's pretty you bold. You didn't dismiss that. It's, yeah. pretty, it's pretty bold, and I was smiling as I heard him say it. <laughs> you know, on the Islamic State, on, on um, radical Islamic terrorism, on, uh, on you know, uh, yeah. the spread of it. Do you, if you're going to dismiss that, what do you dismiss? It's a fair point. He doesn't have the POTUS Twitter handle just yet. Coming up, <laughs> he doesn't need it. Yeah. <laughs> Judge, good to see you. Pleasure. Thanks guys. so all, much, all Judge Napolitano. There.